We're asked to solve the equation tangent x equals negative one for all solutions, give exact radian answers, use k to represent any integer. We will solve this equation using reference triangles and then verify the solution using the unit circle as well as graphically. The first step is to recognize that the tangent function value is negative, and since tangent theta is equal to y divided by x, y divided by x is negative when y is positive and x is negative, or when y is negative and x is positive, which means these solutions will be in the second quadrant, where x is negative and y is positive, or the fourth quadrant, where x is positive and y is negative. For the next step, we ignore the negative for a moment and find the reference angle that gives a tangent function value of positive one. If we sketch that reference angle in the second and fourth quadrants, the tangent function value will be negative. Having a tangent function value of positive one should remind us of a 45, 45, 90 reference triangle shown here below, where tangent theta is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side, and therefore tangent pi over four radians is equal to one divided by one, which is equal to one. So now we sketch a reference angle of pi over four radians in the second and fourth quadrants. Let's also sketch the reference triangles. In the second quadrant, the opposite leg is one, the adjacent leg is negative one, the hypotenuse is square root two. In the fourth quadrant, the opposite side is negative one, the adjacent side is one, the hypotenuse is square root two. Notice how for both reference triangles, the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side is negative one. And now let's work on determining all of the solutions. Let's first find the least positive angle in the second quadrant, which should be this angle here. This angle would be pi radians minus pi over four radians. Where the common denominator is four, which gives us four fourths pi radians minus one fourth pi radians which is three-fourths pi radians. So let's start with x equals three-fourths pi. But we're looking for all the solutions, so we need an expression for all the angles that are coterminal to this angle. We find coterminal angles by adding or subtracting multiples of two pi. So we have x equals three-fourths pi plus two pi k, where k is any integer. And now let's focus on the least positive angle in the fourth quadrant, which is this angle here. This angle is equal to two pi radians minus one fourth pi radians. Again, the common denominator is four, which gives us eight fourths pi radians minus one fourth pi radians, which is seven fourths pi radians. And because you want all the coterminal angles to seven fourths pi radians, we have seven fourths pi radians plus two pi k. So while these two expressions do give all the solutions, we can write these solutions as a single expression by recognizing the tangent function has a period of pi radians. We're looking at the two angles, notice how the terminal sides point in the opposite direction. So if we started with three fourths pi radians and then added pi radians, we would get seven fourths pi radians. And let's just verify that. Three fourths pi radians plus pi radians, common denominator of four, Notice how we do get a sum of seven fourths pi radians. And if we added pi radians to seven fourths pi radians, we would get another angle that's coterminal to three fourths pi radians. So a simpler way to express all these solutions would be x equals, let's start with three fourths pi radians, and then add pi times k radians. So let's go ahead and give the solution using the simplified expression shown here. And now let's verify our solution using the unit circle. Remember on the unit circle, tangent theta is equal to y divided by x. If we want y divided by x to be equal to negative one, x and y must be opposites. So notice at three fourths pi radians, the x and y coordinates are opposites, and therefore y divided by x is negative one. And at seven fourths pi radians, x and y are also opposites. And again, because the period of the tangent function is pi radians, or because the terminal sides of these two angles point in the opposite direction, we can give all the solutions as a simplified expression of x equals three fourths pi plus pi k radians. And then finally, let's verify some solutions graphically. In red we have the graph of y equals tangent x, in blue we have the graph of y equals negative one. 
the points of intersection represent these solutions. Notice how there would be an infinite number of solutions. So the first solution we found was 3 fourths pi radians, represented by this point here. If we add pi radians, we can find solutions to the right. The next solution would be 7 fourths pi radians, followed by 11 fourths pi radians, and so on. And we can also subtract pi radians to find negative solutions. 3 fourths pi radians minus pi radians is negative 1 fourth pi radians, and so on to the left. So this graph does verify that our simplified expression for these solutions is correct. I hope you found this helpful.